This is a continuation. We're still going to finish up the tutorial, but there was inspired inspiration right here on people say, well, is Ahala Selassie God? You know, like we say, he is I and I, God and Father, the King of Kings, Bahashem Yeshua, name of Getachi Namin Hanatachi Yesus Christos. He is the one whom Getachi Yesus Christos is speaking of, right, in the sense of Ha'ab. Of I and I Father And the one who he's speaking of In the sense of you will see me When the Moshiach says you will see me But not see me He who be who he be is Kadamawi Chayla Selassie well, You say well how do you say that Well you have to study You know many of us have received that on, on Inspiration We say on inspiration Thus we have received this on good um, Nay very good Authority. Let's go right here to the word manifest. Right? Man, uh, let's, let's take this out and put manifest. Right? Manifest. And let's put Judas. Now, once we'll think, oh, yeah, that, that's what I thought. He, are you thinking what he's thinking? Right? <laughs> you know, he says, his thoughts are not like your thoughts, they're not like our thoughts. Boom. So once again, just picking up on John fourteen twenty two, and people say, "Well, well, like Rasta man or Rastafari, how is it that we say?" Well, I, I only speak to, for those who um, seek to do the will of I and I Father in that sense. You know what I mean? Other ones, because there's many ones who might be called. Rasta or Rastafari or Rastafarians, but they come with some diverse doctrine, and we say Hatafaya Bun. Mm -hmm. Because they're not coming correct, they're not coming in the way that is pleasing in Jah's sight, in Yahweh's sight. And this is why we have to study to show ourselves approved to find out well, what is pleasing. His Majesty says to us, right? For my part, I glory in the Bible. Now, of course, we as those who have received what Judas, what Judah, right, Yehuda, hear the verse, you, you know, if you have seen the other vids and to the Habarim and the fellowship, you know, we've been speaking on this John 14, 22, right? Because ones, even some of us wonder, well, how come we can't, it is difficult for us to share that revelation. To share that vision Or we share the vision It's not difficult for someone to share the vision But others don't see it they, They're blind Just like the judicial blindness That has happened to the blind black sheep Of the house of Israel And many of the so-called black Hebrews And black Hebrew Israelites And Hebrew Israelites So forth and so on Who say all sorts of Evil and harsh things Against his majesty Right, his imperial majesty against Haile Selassie the first. Right, but the scripture already warns us that there would be days like these. So if we shema, if we hear, if we hear intelligently, then it's not so much a mystery to us. That mystery is revealed. The mystery of God and Christ is revealed in the person of Kedamawi Haile Selassie. Right? In the person of the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Right? So weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. 
right? The seven seals of the book, right? So here in John's gospel, the gospel according to Johannes, here, Johannes Arai. Now the word Arai is also very interesting, especially in context of the previous Torah portion. So here we have um, Stephen Marley's, his album cover, right? The album cover known as uh, Arai. Well, he calls it Revelation. It's called Revelation, I guess, in the English. But here we have Ra, E, Y, Ra, Y, Ra, Y, Ra, Y, Ra, E, Y, Ra, Y, right? And Ra, Y is the second part of the Book of the Seven Seals name for what we know as Revelation, right? The Book of Revelation. Or in the Greek, the coin of Greek is called Apocalypse, Apocalypse, Apocalypse. And Apocalypse is a two part word, ah, and Calypso. Calypso. It's, it's so very interesting, Calypso, right? But Apocalypse, right, basically means the unveiling. Ah, who is like, is like the, the negation there. And Calypso is the veil, a veil, the unveiling, right? The revelation. Thus, the translation as the book of Revelation. So when I and I, when we as Rastafari point to Revelation 5 and 5, where one of the elders saith to me, weep not, behold, right, see, sight, seen, right, the lion of the tribe of Judah, of Yehuda, the root of David, of Dawid, right? Of Dawid, yes, that's how it would be pronounced correctly. Dawid have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. We are speaking revelation. We're speaking of the revelation of God, of Ha Elohim Baruchu, blessed be He, Baruch Hashem, blessed be the name. In Christ, in Ha Moshiach, in the Messiah, in the Messiah, which is interpreted, right, which is interpreted according to John chapter, John's gospel, John chapter one, which is being interpreted. We found the Messiah, the Messiah, the Moshiach, which is being interpreted as Christos, right, which means the anointed, right, the one who is anointed. Now, Here's what's very interesting. I have this right here in front of I and I. Maybe this is the reason why the Spirit had us put it there, right? This document right here. This document is the Revised Constitution of Ethiopia. Now, we know that His Majesty provided in 1931 the first written constitution for that Hebrew establishment. When we said first written constitution for the modern Hebrew establishment, because the written constitute the constitution is really the Bible. Metaf Kedus. That's why it says, for my part, I glory in the Bible. But the first written constitution for modern Ethiopia provided in 1931 by Gormawi Kadamawi Haile Selassie. When we say Gormawi, that corresponds to um, his imperial majesty, Gormawi, right? Gormawi Kadamawi Haile Selassie. Right, so on the 24th of Tikim, 1948, or the 4th of November, according to the Gregorian calculation of time, 1955, the Ethiopic calendar, it was 1948. On the occasion of the 25th anniversary of his coronation, blow the shofar. You know, the shofar, the first trump, that long trump, the tekiah, the tekiah of the shofar um, signifies the king's coronation. And go ahead, ask, ask uh, Orthodox Jew about that, the shofar, and what does the first trump, the first trumpet, as Burhana Salasi Bar Mali said, it, it could be the first trumpet. It might as well be the last. You know, so it's a natural mystic, you know. Um, flowing through the ear. If you listen carefully, right? If you shimma ah, right? If you shimma ah, if you hear carefully, you will hear. And if you hear carefully and you hear correctly, you will see, 
you will behold, you know, behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, Kadamawi. Haile Selassie has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So this was now published with the Negarit Gazeta, the official um, organ, the official um, publication, the Negarit Gazeta, on the 15th year, number two, Addis Ababa, the fourth of Addis Ababa, 1955. Now, Ababa is interesting. Because over in the state of Israel, they have a city called Tel Aviv. Aviv. They say the month of Aviv. That's the Jews again taking the bet and making a vet and taking the wow and making a vav. That means taking the B and making a V and taking the W and making a V. But if we now put it more correctly, as it was originally, we have Abib. Abib, right? The city, the Tel, Tel Abib, Ababa. And now we have Adis or Hadis, like Hadasha, new Ababa, new flower, the first of the Hebrew months, right? Abib, the month of Abib. In the modern Jewish calendar, they call it Nisan, Nisan. But originally in the Bible, in Torah, it is known as Abib. Right, a bee, and that links with Ababa, right, to flower, to fructify, to grow, to grow, to, to sprout, and not to sprout so much, but to flower, to properly to flower, right, to flower. Okay, so here, that's the Constitution, right, that's the first page. So we have right here the government of Ethiopia. You remember the question that was asked in Acts of the Apostles, the first chapter? Is it now, like at this time, that you will restore the acts, the resurrected Moshe, Ha Moshe, Yeshua? Is it now that you restore the, the, the kingdom to Israel? A kingdom, right, equals government. Government, right, equals kingdom. In other words, Malkut in the Hebrew equals Mengist in the Ethiopic, and that equals government. All right, so he said, would you restore the kingdom? Is it now that you restore the kingdom to Israel? And the Moshiach said, it's not for you to know the times and the seasons which the Father has put right, in his own power, right, in, the, in his own authority, exousia, subtan. So we see this revelation now. So the Messiah said that it wasn't 2,000 years ago Right, and it wasn't him as Habain that would do that, but it would be the person of Haab. Right, it would be the father that would restore the kingdom, the government, the Mengist to Israel. Right, Amen. You can look into Acts of the Apostles, chapter one, and we've gone through that in even more detail, but just as a point of reference to what we present right here. So we see the government of Ethiopia. Proclamation promulgating the revised constitution of the empire of Ethiopia. So we have the constitution like the Old Testament. Then we have the revised constitution like the Barit Hadasha, the New Testament. So here we have the promulgation, the proclamation prog uh, prom uh, uh, promulgating, Slika, Yikritane, promulgating the revised constitution of the empire of Ethiopia. Conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah, Hila Selassie I, elect of God, emperor of Ethiopia. Now, what's interesting is that many of the lost sheep don't take this seriously. Babylon took this seriously. Uh, why do you think the whole world system is off the rails? They take this very seriously and they're trying to avoid judgment. But anyway, let's go on right here. I and I say, so this right here is the word sound of the king. Right, the word sound of the king, you can slow it down, read through it if one is so interested. Then we have right here, Hala Selassie first, Kadamawi Hala Selassie, emperor or Nagusa Negest. Right, in Amharic, we don't have emperor, we have king of kings, Nagusa Negest. So the Sahafe to Izaz, the minister of the pen, Tefera, Tefera work is, is the co signer on here, the minister of the pen. The Sahafe to Izaz to Farah work. All right, so that's the proclamation, the awaj. 
All right, so let's just go right here because what we're seeking to do is to signify why we say he is Christ. Because there's a lot of fools out there. And it may not be their fault because they never knew, but because they go off like they know when someone is showing them facts and the evidence and they haven't gone and checked out that evidence, right, to disprove the evidence, that's when they become foolish. But here, the Constitution of 1955, Chapter 1, the Ethiopian Empire and the succession to the throne, right, the succession to the throne. Let's read Article 1. Article 1. The Empire of Ethiopia comprises all the territories, including the islands and territorial waters under the sovereignty, right, under the sovereignty of the Ethiopian crown. Its sovereignty or sovereignty and territory are indivisible. Its territories and sovereign rights therein are inalienable. All Ethiopian subjects whether living within or without the empire constitute the Ethiopian people. Amos 9 and 7 Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? If we say yea, if we say amen, then this also includes us, right? The royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, Roe. Right? All Ethiopian subjects, whether living within or without the empire, constitute the Ethiopian people. Our ancestors, right, faithful and righteous ancestors over here in the Americas and the Caribbean, they recognize that. And this is why we identify ourselves as Ethiopian Hebrews. Oh, and Ethiopian Israelites. Yes, this is fact. Let's go down here, right here. Article 2. The imperial dignity shall remain perpetually attached to the line of Haile Selassie I, Edamawi, Haile Selassie, descendant of King or Negus Sahla Selassie, whose line descends, his lineage that is, without interruption from the dynasty of Minulik I, or Edamawi Minulik, son of the Queen of Sheba, the queen, the queen of Ethiopia, Slika, son of the queen of Ethiopia, Kaol Matthew was thinking about the queen of the south, shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the furthest parts of the earth, right, to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Behold, a greater, a greater than Solomon is here. Son of queen of Ethiopia, the queen of Sheba, and King Solomon of Jerusalem. And of Negus uh, Solomon or Shlomo Ha Melech. Right? Third, Article 3. The succession to the throne and crown of the empire by the descendants of the emperor Negus Neges, the king of kings, and the exercise of the powers of regency shall be determined as hereinafter provided. Okay, that's the third article. Fourth article, right? So, so we, now, now this is like the fourth to the fourth degree, the fourth article. This is where we seek to point out why we rightly say His Majesty is Christ in His kingly character. Remember what Christ means. Christ means the anointed, and there's an order of anointing according to Torah, according to the Scripture. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we can, you know, we can anoint ourselves with oil and stuff like that. And we were anointed in that sense, but that does not make us the Messiah in the scriptural, biblical, right, in Yahweh's sight. All right, so let's go to Article 4. By virtue of his imperial blood, as well as by the anointing which he has received. What, 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 what does it say? Does it say that by virtue of his imperial blood and because Rastafarians say that he's Christ in his kingly character? No, it says by virtue of his imperial blood as well as by the anointing which he has received. This says because Rasta men have done songs and praise of the king of kings. That's what makes him Christ in kingly character. No, by virtue of his imperial blood as well as by the anointing which he has received the Mashaha, the Mashaha. You don't know what that is? Look it up. Mashaha, Messiahship that he has received by anointing. Right? The person of the emperor is sacred. The person of who? The person of Negus Neges. The person of the king of kings is what? Sacred. 
oh, he's a he's a good king and, and he's, you know, he's a Christian. He belonged to Ethiopian Orthodox Church. No, it says the person of Negus and the guest is sacred. You know what sacred means? Caduce. It means holy. So we say Abba Caduce, he is holy, right? According to the order and after the order of Melchizedek. His dignity, his what? His dignity is inviolable. All right, that means when you violate it, you know, okay, warning, warning, and his power indisputable. So only fools will dispute this, right? Only fools will violate this, his dignity, right? And dispute his power. He is, you notice that right there, how the he is is? Remember when we said Yah, Jah means he is, Yahweh, Yah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yah, he is, and he is, right? Ahya, Aya, Asha, Aya. Right, Aya Asha Aya, Aya Asha Aya. He is, he is, he who be. He who be consequently, right? He is consequently entitled to all the honors due to him. So all we're doing is keeping to Jalor by, by honoring the King of Kings, Bahashim Yeshua. Right? All we're doing is what is right and what is righteous. Entitled to all the honors due to him in accordance with tradition and the present constitution. Look at that last line. Let's read the last line together. Anyone so bold as to seek to injure the emperor, Nagusa Neges, the king of kings, will be punished. Don't worry about the when, right? Don't worry about the when. It's coming. It's coming. Anyone so bold. As to seek to injure the emperor, Nagusa Nagas, the king of kings, will be punished. And that's starting from Babylon down, down to the careless Ethiopian or the blind black Hebrews. Like, it's, it's the same way, right? And Gentiles included, right? Anyone so bold as to seek to injure in word or deed, Nagusa Nagas, the king of kings, will be punished so that's we can say that's what that's what the book of revelation basically is a warning of so we're just showing that right there let that be light right so because when folks say oh the only christ is uh, only yeshua yes is jesus is y'all don't know what you're talking about you really don't know what you're talking about you know what i mean you really don't Yes, he, Yeshua is the only begotten son, but he is not the only one who is Messiah or has received Messiahship. He is the Messiah, right? Because Abba Father, Kedus Abba Tachin, our Holy Father has said it so. He is the Messiah of the prophecy from the, from in the beginning, right? The whole man-child prophecy, right? The seed. Right, the seed of the serpent, right, would be against the seed of the womb man. And that womb man of the apocalypse is that imperial Ethiopia of the revelation. Right, of the revelation. It's this Ethiopia should stretch forth her hands to God. I mean, Shema, hear this. Hopefully, you will be able to see it too. See it for yourself. Right, so. Let's just sum up right here. So Judas, remember Judas? Not that Judas, but the other Judas. You know, there were a lot of other Judases besides Judas, but they all were called Judas. <laughs> you didn't know that. So every time you hear Judas, you say something insultingly while not knowing which Judas it is, right? It's like somebody say, you know Mike? I'll be like, Mike who? You know Judas? Judas who? Judas sayeth to him, right? Judas sayeth to him. So Yehuda. Saith to him, to who? Well, Yeshua HaMoshiach. This is John's Gospel, chapter 14, 22. If you want to go into a more contextual study of it, please do. Please, please. Judas saith to him, not Iscariot. All right, not Iscariot. Not Judas Iscariot. Not Askrotawi. Not 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 Judas of the Judas Judah of the cities. In fact, when you look at, you can see it right there. Um, Iscariotes, Bamarinya and them Mark, we call them Askrotawi. I noticed that that they they don't just call him Judas, but they'll call him Askrotawi. 
right? In other words, by his like so-called surname. He was an inhabited, an inhabitant of Keriot or Keriot. Keriot, if you looked it up in the Hebrew, refers to the cities, right? The cities, right? Iscariotes, Keriotite, an epitaph of Judas the traitor, right? So, so that was the name of Judas the traitor, not the other Judases, right? In fact, there's the epistle of Jude. Another important link about that one chapter epistle, he's, he quotes from the Ethiopic book of Enoch, right? Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians <laughs> unto me, O children of Israel? See, it's in Jah's sight. It's in Yahweh's sight. It is, it is in he who be who he be by Hashem Yeshua's sight. Oh, so Judas says to him, not Iscariot, Lord, Kurios in the Greek, Gita in the Royal Amharic, Adoni in the Hebrew, Adoni, Ha Adon, Adoni, Lord, right, Master, Sovereign, right, Supreme, right, Supreme, Sovereign One, right. How is it that thou wilt manifest, right, that you will M Infanizo, you will emphasize this, you infanizo, you will exhibit in person or disclosure by words. Now we're gonna get into that, right? The two, the two uh, meanings, and not, not meanings, but the two um we can say two meanings, related meanings, right? Of manifest. Manifest according to the context of the gospel writers, the koina, the koina is is the particular kind of Greek that they that they spoke that they speak right in the scripture? The emphasizo can mean to exhibit in person, or and or to disclose by words. But in the beginning was the uh, word. That's why the sun came first. The beginning habane. The world came first. The world came first. To disclose by words so that we who would shema are right we who would hear and obey the gospel obey the good news would know what and who to look for right according to those words that he disclosed to us right so judas asked adoni how is it that thou wilt manifest how is it that you will exhibit in person? How is it that you will disclose by words? You know, a good way people say, how, how, how would you recommend one who want to find out more about Rastafari? I'll say to read the words of his imperial majesty, read his words, read his speeches, select his speeches, his word sound, right, of his majesty, if you seek to know. Right, that's a that's a good first step right there because he discloses, he infanizo, he manifests himself in word, sound, and in power, even the first power of the Trinity. Right, because I think Psalm what is ninety three, Yahweh is clothed in majesty. Right, he who be who he be is clothed in his imperial majesty. That five foot two, some say, others say five foot four, a hundred pounds. That's all the world could take of that revelation, for real, right, of the Almighty. But Judas, not Iscariot, said, Adoni, how is it, Gita, how is it that thou wilt manifest, exhibit yourself in person and disclose yourself by words, appear, inform, declare plainly, manifest, show, signify, that man, you've heard I say it before and preach on it, the gospel of the King of Kings, that man, Kedamawi Hala Selassie, is the sign and the seal, right? How is it that thou wilt manifest thyself to us and not to the world? How is it that the Rastaman, that the Rastafari, right, the faithful Ethiopians and, and good and true Christian Christians around the world, his majesty is manifest to them, right, as the king of kings, the lion of the tribe of Judah, but not to others, right, who might claim this or whatever they claim, right? How is it? This is the question that Judas, not Iscariot, had asked Adonenu, had asked 
our master, our black Lord and Savior, Shuha Moshiach, Moshiach. Right? How is it? How is it you're going to manifest yourself to us and not to others? Right? So how is it that some of us, we see this and some of our fleshy uh, what people we went to church with and other folks, they, they, they don't see it. it. It doesn't manifest. They think we're crazy. They think we rambling fools. They think we idiots. <laughs> He said to rejoice and be exceeding glad when he say all manners of evil against you falsely for his name's sake. Right? Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Of course, the world going to think we mad, but the world is mad, sick and sad and don't want to bend their knee right, to our almighty dad, Behashem Yeshua. They're going to be so, so sad. We hope they repent. You know, we pray that they repent. You know, we pray that Abba Father, that Ha Elohim, Ha Ab, give them repentance, right? So that they can recognize, acknowledge the truth and recover themselves out of this. Christ in his kingly character. Christ in his kingly character. 